Hey guys, uh, welcome to this small video showing how I perform my wiring how well to connect my uh, new FPV uh, uh, setup for uh, my uh, mini Terax. Okay, so um, well, uh, my basic ingredients for these kits are uh, well, this. Uh, Nice camera from Survey Zone, uh, super hard too. Okay, uh, 600 TV are well cheap and efficient, uh, especially for uh, in different uh, light conditions. So it's a well known FPV camera, and uh, also a well by um, this uh, Tex 600 from DLACI got it from Banggood and uh, well in fact I modified the internal wiring uh, because I plan to install uh, this uh, uh, Minimo SD so this is the, the um, modified version where you can see here you have the uh, breakaway breakout uh, pin headers here to uh, access uh, to input, for example, the RSSI or the battery voltage in analog way. Okay, so if I can uh, enter more in details uh, the diagram first, you will find on this single row here, okay, you will find my, um, well, my um, RC filter, okay, with the can. Uh, I use the one kilo, uh, ten kilo, sorry, ten kilo ohms for this resistance and the uh, uh, thirty-seven or forty-seven picofarads uh, for the condensator. Um, so uh, I will input it uh, into the channel two of my um, uh, PySky receiver. So as you can see here, so I will input in the channel two because when you're using the Fisca D42 in PPM mode, the channel 2 is uh, outputting uh, PMW RSSI and uh, thanks to this uh, RC filter, you will have now uh, an analog RSSI uh, in a range of uh, maximum bounding in 3.3 volts, so it's okay, you can attack directly the, the pine of the uh, Atmega inside. Um, the second as you can see, so it's independent. Uh, now is this complex diagrams. So my basic idea is to first uh, connect uh, the main lead for the FPV part here. It's a JST connector. And as you can see, um, where here uh, I've got in this section a voltage divisor, okay, with the uh, R2 equal to uh, 27 kilo ohm and R1 to 10 kilo ohms. So it means that this um, uh, you have here, uh, if you input 3S, you have here 3.3 volts. Okay, so uh, basically I can monitor in analog way uh, from the uh, in the minimum Z, uh, OSD, sorry, uh, the uh, battery voltage. So, okay, so this voltage divisor is to uh, output here 3.3 3 volt maximum. So, if you can see also this 3.3 3 volt with this tiny black and white wire will be in this uh, special connector which is a 4 pine mini uh, GST connector 1.2. 25 millimeters. It's uh, included in your FireSky uh, uh, DFR2 receiver, for example. And thanks to him, I will be able to send the same voltage uh, to monitor on the telemetry of my uh, radio. If you have a Tyrannis, for me, I've got a Devo controller with modded with the CC2005 uh, RF shift. So I will be able to see to um, see the voltage on the telemetry part. So uh, thanks to this uh, white and black wire uh, from the output of the voltage divisor. Uh, here, this is, uh, I didn't finish completely, but it will be, uh, this is the uh, RX uh, pines, who will go to the uh, NAS32, okay? 
from a soft soil or I don't know a real uh, soil uh, link. Um, you, this Eric green wire will be plugged into the takes of this um, serial port. Uh, it will be I will be able to see, for example, the GPS coordinate if I'm played to to also to add the GPS on this uh, FPV setup. It would be not so hard, complex now, and I will retrieve the GPS information, for example, with this uh, green wire. So uh, the, the in the second part of this uh, wiring, okay, because this was more for. Uh, uh, telemetry and uh, moni battery moni uh, monitoring. So as you can see here, uh, okay, in the second part, um, the uh, main 3S, for example, battery voltage will input in the first step down, okay, here. Um, I tune this step down to deliver uh, 7.5 volt, I guess. And in fact, this uh, uh, step down will be in the input of this uh, internal step down, in fact, exactly the same model. And uh, the second one is delivering uh, 5 volt at the end. So I've got this double layer step down in order to, uh, uh, um, to in order to uh, decrease the temperature of this uh, internal voltage uh, regulator and second point in order to remove completely any uh, motor interferences so uh, inside the uh, tx okay uh, i outputting here as you can see here this is a signal uh, wire okay it's uh, this is not the uh, in input this is an out uh, yes this is an input okay so this input is the v out of the uh, minimo sd okay so it will receive the signal uh, video signal modified with the osd informations so uh, if i'm talking about the video signal the v in which is from the camera here okay i you can see from this also this uh, four pine mini gst connector 1.25 millimeters will be the uh, in the V in of the uh, uh, minimo HD, okay, if you can see. So the input of the camera is entering here, the output of the OSD is entering in the uh, video transmitter. Okay, concerning the uh, the power, okay, so um, I share the ground, okay, from the here, this is the ground, I probably due to uh, exit all the uh, um, uh, red and the um, this is a five volt okay of the second uh, voltage regulator so this is a ground of the second voltage okay and this one is a five volt and it will power the camera because it's possible also to power the camera at five volt so and the, of course it will be the result of the second stage of the uh, voltage regulator so more interferences will be completely uh, removed so i think i finished completely to describe um well uh, i flashed uh the um uh, I can't remember well this firmware, but this is a variation of the Kiwi Team One. So it was it's in version 1.2. So I flashed through the uh, ESP ISP, um, okay. So I installed some female connector here, and I plug my USB ISP here. And uh, well, uh, I flashed through uh, Arduino, and for the first things to step to do is to uh, burn the boot louder, and after to uh, to flash uh, stuff. Uh, uh, two cents tips. Uh, I prepare some uh, uh, cable. I don't know if they are here. And uh, to plug, just install some uh, polished nail here to plug each time correctly in the right sense your your connector, as well as here. Uh, as the, in the FDDI, in the FDDI, you will need uh, to, for example, to load and to configure all the panel of the firmware and to, f to upload, for example, the, the fonts of this uh, OSD uh, and the software. So, and uh, this uh, last cable will be plugged to the NA32. Uh, so, I will plug the uh, plus 5 volts and the uh, ground to the uh, uh, one of the free um, um, uh, ESC port, okay, because I'm, 
of the uh, the board uh, so I can uh, take it and um, well and uh, the, this one will be uh, directly connected to the TX and Eric's uh, in opposite way of the NA32 so I think I've finished to describe everything thank you for watching if you have any questions uh, please uh, uh, ask on the uh, on the field thank you Hi, welcome to the final result of the uh, um, installation of my FPV kit, uh, well, including a, a 600 uh, TBL uh, transmitter here, as well as the mini OSD, which is here, okay, uh, including um, the MW um, OSD our, our firmware version 1.2. Uh, you have this 600 TVL camera from uh, Survey Zone, Super Hat 2, well, and uh, well, a Fry Sky. So, versus my initial plane, uh, you maybe uh, you remember that I split uh, from the um, um, bridge voltage divisor, uh, outputting 3.3 volts, I split in two. In order, I, my first plane was to uh, enter directly on the mini SD on the battery uh, uh, port 2 in order as well to monitor uh, the main voltage um, but I was not able to find the values to display correctly the real value so I changed my plane and since I got an A32 so I plugged directly uh, the 12 volt in the um, uh, battery a uh, voltage monitor of the NA32 and uh, well and of course I turn the uh, MW uh, multi uh, options in the um, OSD firmware so it worked perfectly so in these cases of course you need to plug the uh, RX to the TX uh, plug and the vice versa so they exchange the, the uh, main battery voltage by uh, the serial link. Uh, well, what to say, uh, the scale of this stuff is uh, uh, quite... Um, is closed with the battery, it's close to... let's use this box as there... At, okay, as, okay, I think it's something close to... Um, okay, 670 grams, okay? Uh, well, so now it's working, so I can uh, monitor both the RSSI and the um, main battery voltage uh, both on the telemetry and uh, of my uh, Devo controller, because I've got a Devo one, um, and on the USD, so I will make a small uh, demo. I will turn my Devo controller. So, for example, I modded a bit the uh, Pascal protocol to, uh, well, we showed to add an option to display correctly the main voltage um, when it's plugged on the 82 port of the Pascal uh, uh, receiver. So here you can see maybe you have um, a new field called A to the gain, okay? Um, and I set up to the inverse of the voltage divisor, so uh, it's uh, well 37 min the factors to apply is 3.7. Okay, so and like this, I outputting the real uh, value of this 3S battery. Uh, okay, and um, I will go also to the uh, telemetry monitors, and actually it's uh, off, and I will also show you my, uh, well this is my first Google, I will plug the, the receiver and to show you how it's working. Uh, actually, um, I still have a little bit some noise on the videos uh, because first uh, uh, the wire I used to plug uh, was uh, is not so fantastic so I probably have to do a small soldering job. And the second point, um, maybe the uh, internal voltage regulator, the step down used for the, both the um, uh, the video transmitter, uh, I'm not completely filtering out uh, all the interferences. Usually, I always use um, 
a small polo loop uh, between um, the main voltage regulator going from 3S to uh, let's say around uh, uh, 5 volts and after I use a second stage of a voltage regulator with a polo loop here I use the same kind of voltage regulator maybe they are not completely filtering out all the interferences so okay I plug everything now I have to unplug the quad capter uh, well, it's close to uh, 7, uh, 60, 70 grams with uh, uh, close to 2,000, uh, it's 1,900 milliamps stress batteries. Okay, so as you can see now, um, okay, it's uh, you have the uh, voltage. Of course, uh, displayed here. This is an internal uh, um, receiver voltage. Oh, it's not 5 volt because I decided to plug the USD on the uh, free, uh, the channel 3. I have not run on the um, of the receiver because I don't have any more free uh, plus 5 volts on the uh, motor plugs of the because it's an exact capture uh, so it's decreasing a bit from there on 1 volt the uh, value of the voltage on the port of the internal port of the receiver but uh, as you can see here on the B field uh, this uh, is correctly displayed so um, and the RSSI here is in percentage it's fluctuating a bit because uh, the uh, through the um, uh, telemetry, it's in fact in the value in dB, and uh, I rescale it linearly, and so by consequence, um, the, and far field, uh, near field, sorry, uh, the value are fluctuating a lot, but it's uh, less fluctuating in the far range distance. So maybe I will apply the nonlinear function to correct that. I will see later. Um, on the, I can show now on the USD. Okay. Uh, okay, if I can see correctly, uh, maybe yes. So, as you can see, uh, there is uh, on the bottom left you can read the um, uh, RSI side and the uh, uh, battery voltage. So, given by the uh, minimum OSD with the MW uh, OSD uh, firmware, it's working well. So no problem at all. I only uh, display this uh, this uh, field because I don't have yet any GPS or etc. So actually, it's more for NFPV riser um, uh, status. So uh, probably I will install now a batter or uh, and probably a GPS now. So it's working well uh, both in the telemetry and the uh, in the uh, in the uh, quad capture. So and uh, um, with, uh, sorry and the Google also so it's working well. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.